Hello. So Rockstar are adding random all to GTA Online. What's that all about? Uh, right, quick YouTube stream. Um, I was totally taken aback by all of this. Um, I didn't expect that. I mean, I was streaming last night, streaming GTA Vice City Stories, in fact, on Twitch. And then all the info came out about, uh, you know, the new week of update. And we got the the notification from those who get that information from Rockstar that Rockstar are adding known unknowns and unknown unknowns races, which is basically the equivalent of random all and random select. So we're going to look at it. Um, I don't know whether chat will actually work here. YouTube chat. Is this known? <laughs> They are already up, so we can try them out. Um, interesting names. I, I'm going to... Hang on, I was in an invite-only session, so let me go into a crew session. Oh, it's woken up. Look at that. Um, am I in a crew session now? Yeah, I'm in a crew session. I'm on PS5. I'll put myself online if anybody wants to try these out. Um, so yeah, basically, Rockstar are adding random all races. So, for those who for those who don't know, how could you not? You know, you know what random all is all about. But let, let's just give us the idea of like we, we can see where random all came from, and I think it was the branch out of Johnny on on Project Homecoming. But we can see where it came from and the kind of experience that we can get from random races. And then we're gonna see if we can, we're gonna be able to get that same experience or there's potential to get that same experience with Rockstar's versions. Because it's Rockstar's implementation, who knows how it's gonna be. But um, yeah, let's, let's see. So, well, I can go over here, I suppose. I've heard then, about this, um, is, does, isn't it? Every lap, it changes the car. Yes. Okay. And because so, you've got balanced classes, it actually works. Yeah, it's pretty good fun. Okay. Um, but that evolved into, hey, why don't we just have random all and just have random everything and just see what you get? Oh, yes. my God. So is this just standard? <laughs> this is the very first ever random all we ever did. So you could get yeah. absolutely anything that we've... Right. Episode oh, one. For a very early, 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 yeah. Oh my god, I got the Esperanto. Oh my god, Sefa! Sash was in the Sefa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh, the oh best game back. mode immediately. This is the best... <laughs> this is the, the best game lander. mode of all time. <laughs> the faction custom tonk. <laughs> Oh my god! Random all is immediately the best thing. <laughs> and it was immediately, I knew immediately after that very first random lap. Halfway through that first random lap, I called it random all is the best thing. And that was six years ago, nearly. And 150 episodes of random all later. And 120 episodes of the random more series, which has like random selects where it's like set number of cars and all that stuff. Um, but I, I couldn't, I couldn't not highlight the single best random all lap in all of existence. And this is kind of like what we're hoping to achieve. And this is going to be quite close to the end. I'm Maybe sure we all remember. Not that quick, but. The he final lap. In the lead. Chasing down the coyote for second place. The journey's just around the the oval. Final corner. Oh my god, there he is! There he is! Did I get it? <laughs> yes! No way! No way! <laughs> so, 
Random All has given us some incredible races. Um, it's given us some incredible moments. And our Rockstars versions of Random All going to allow us to do that? That's the question. Uh, DW with the tier one, uh, the 31 months of being a member. At the age of 31, someone will have lived for their one billionth second. Really? Interesting. Uh, thank you very much, DW, for the 31 months of membership. So, the question is... Let me let me put these in order. What are Rockstar's versions going to be like? That's what the question is. So we've got all of Rockstar's versions. They have added them. So there's seven new races, transform races technically, but they've named them. It's a terrible name, but I mean, random, random all and random selects have already been taken, I suppose, but unknown unknowns and known unknowns so the idea with unknown unknowns is it can be any car and the idea with known unknowns it can be any car out of a selection of cars so it's basically random all and random select <laughs> uh in terms of the tracks the known unknowns tracks that looks like a relatively normal circuit um what else have we got? Why are you not swapping? Hang on. That looks like a relatively straightforward circuit as well. These are the known unknowns races. Why won't it swap when I'm in full screen? That's a relatively normal circuit too around Zancudo and also around Polito Bay and then the unknown unknowns yeah that looks like it's all full throttle that looks like it's all full throttle and crisscrossing and I don't know what to say about that so of course the um if you're looking for an actual random all experience on a normal track it looks like you're not going to be able to get that because based on the three tracks that are the unknown unknowns which is random all it seems like they're just going to be full throttle stuff, but let's try it. What do you want me to try first? Should we try the unknown unknowns tracks or the known unknowns? Or, well, which one first? We'll, we'll do two of them. Do you, want, do you want the random select first or the random all first? I think, I think random all unknown unknowns is winning. All right, uh, let's see. It's the easier one to get to, to be fair. Rockstar created, stunt races, unknown unknowns, three of those. All right, sh which one should we do? Uh, I'm gonna go with the first one in the list, gassed up. Yeah, aircraft worries me a little bit. Yes, I want a host. 30 players, that's a good start. Non-contact or standard. I guess we'll do two laps. Random transform race featuring land, sea and air vehicles. Okay. Uh, traffic locked to high, but I mean, I guess there's not going to be any traffic. We'll turn catch up off. Slipstream off. Ten boost on go off. All right. So let's see. Let's see what this is like. Yeah, land, sea, and air vehicles. How do sea vehicles work? Oh, there are sections on the sea. It could be a random... Oh, yeah. So I have a bad feeling about that wording. Thing is... The way that this will work is that it's going to be, it's like, it's a transform race, right? So it'll be transform checkpoints, but instead of, you, you know, the person 
create creating a transform checkpoint that has a specific car it's going to be a transform checkpoint that can have a random car i guess or but you can also i guess do that with a random plane or a random boat so it's not lap based like random all is it's checkpoint based and some checkpoints will put you in a random car uh, I'm starting in a J... Oh, so we start in random vehicles as well. I'm in a JB700. As a Liberator. <laughs> Is that a Reaper? And a Vagrant? Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, random plane. I'm in the NX-25. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, are we going to get a random boat now? Yeah. The Toro. Isn't this the quickest? Oh, no, the long fin's the quickest. Are we going to get another random boat? I mean, it's not going to give us a car. Oh, there's the long fin. I'm getting some good luck in this first ever... No turning circle on the long fin. Uh, how do I do this? I'm going to respawn. <laughs> good luck and bad driving in my first random all on GTA Online. Feels just like normal. Yeah, everyone else is having the same issue. <laughs> Oh, someone's on a she shark. He's caught up. And then the boost is putting us into the... Okay, another random plane. The strike force this time. So nothing is custom, it seems. It Was GT Driver in a helicopter? Okay. The random's left. Did I say she shark? Well, I meant sea shark. And then are we going to do another lap, but on the ground? No, that was a full lap. The Enduro I've got now. World record. I think we are the first people to ever play these races, by the way. They all had zero plays. They've literally just been released, so... The Barracks! <laughs> Alright. Oh, I see! We did a plane around here last time. Could you still get a plane on the second lap? Everyone else seems to be getting a vehicle, a car. So, does it change based on the lap? Dingy. <laughs> we both got dinghies, okay. It could change based on the lap because nobody got it. Like, it didn't seem like well, there was, oh, I got a dinghy again. The marquee's not quick. <laughs> There was one car on the first lap. Oh, really? Okay. So some of the checkpoints they've made available for planes or both, uh, or, or the, um, cars. Okay, Mogul. Too much plane and boating for my liking to get a true, true random all experience, but it's what you expect, I suppose. There we go. The first ever random all in GTA Online. <laughs> so it's basically transform races, but with random checkpoints rather than true random all experience. And I beat Lock and Mild. And I won, yeah. <laughs> Potentially the first ever to finish that race. Potentially, yeah. So they're basically, yeah, it, I mean, we have random all at home. <laughs> I got a mule on lap one when you got a plane. Okay. So that first section, I guess it could have been planes or cars as well. See if they pop up. We'll try to do known unknowns next if it pops up on the end screen.
Uh, known unknowns, full metal jackass. Let's do that. I got a car both laps in the plain possible section. Okay. I, I, I mean, random all has been. It, it feels like this DLC they've they've kind of taken things from. Um, Our number of laps is locked to two. Okay, so we can't even change it. Uh, yeah, custom vehicles are not on. So unlike regular transform races, where if you have the custom vehicle, you can use it, custom vehicles are completely disabled, which means there's no point to the HSW mods option anyway, because stock vehicles aren't HSW vehicles. So... <laughs> You can also get vehicles you can't own. My last vehicle was the Sky Lift, presumably. Yeah, there's probably a bigger... It's probably all the vehicles that are actually available in Transform races, which is a lot. Like, a lot more than regular races. When is the catch-up type discussion? The catch-up fact-finding video will be out, hopefully, two weeks. That's the plan. I'm in the final stages now. So this is more like a normal track. Does it give us competitive transform race for military vehicles? So this one has a, a small selection of vehicles that you can get randomly. But it says competitive transform race for military vehicles. So surely they don't mean like an actual random select where you all end up with the same cars by the end. Just in different order. Right? Rip Benny for caps. How does catch up work on known unknown? <laughs> it's it's obviously going to be just based on the position, I imagine. All right, let's see what happens. But I don't know what. I don't know what cars. It's not telling us the cars that we can get in this race, so we're still unknown. But it's a small smaller selection. It looks like. Okay, so we got a Rhino to start from someone. I'm in a barrack semi. We got, uh, Patri what are those? Squaddies? Patriot, what's that called again? I can't, Patriot Classic? Barrage over there? GT driver, you scum. I'm guessing GT driver can't use the cannon. Excellent driving, everyone. We do have two randoms. Okay, where's my randomness? Still haven't had a random checkpoint yet. Doing all right, third place in the barracks semi. There we go. Now I'm in the barrage. There's an insurgent ahead. Still got lampposts. Come on, Rockstar track creators. At least remove the lampposts. Alright, now the leader's in the barracks. I'm in the uh, Crusader. Is that barrage behind now? So it is a small selection of cars, it seems, but it is still random. It's not, um, it doesn't seem like it's any kind of like random select is where everyone's guaranteed all the same cars by the end. It is still random. It's just that it's a very small selection of things that you can get. I haven't seen anybody else in the tank. That, uh, the plane on the outside there, that must be a, like a prop. Oh, these planes are props as well. Yeah. They've, they've given some life to this track. It's not very ex expertly made as a track itself, but like... 
they've utilized um whoa 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 uh we disconnected there for a second hopefully we're back again oh there's the tank Got the tank for the final run so you can't use the like why can't we just race with tanks then if the tank if the weapon's able to be disabled on the tank just enable them for use in races i mean you can use them in transform races i guess but just enable the military class ah oh, and i got beaten to the line So that is the the um, beauty of random races, in a way, I guess, that you can you can get beaten to the line um, by the car selection. I don't know. I mean, it's you know, it's Rockstar's version of random races, right? We didn't. Ex I, I I don't think surely nobody was expecting anything better than this major frame issues uh, is it sorted now now that we're we're back did everyone have the same cars by the end in this one uh, that's a good question I don't I don't know actually. I got the same cars as you. Did we actually all get the same cars by the end? I got the tank last. I know that GT Driver was in the tank first. Did we actually all get the same? Did we run through one of every car? Now that I think about it. It was the squaddy. Every car once. So that must be why it's locked to two laps. It actually is a proper random select. It's locked to two laps so that you can't... Uh, let's do this one, cluster cluck. I had squaddy insurgent barrage tank crusader barracks. Distance between checkpoints matters then, because if you get the tank for a longer time, you're screwed. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. It's not perfectly balanced like a random select is, because you do every single lap in every single car. You can get... Um, you can get one vehicle where it's more advantageous to get it, and one vehicle where it's less advantageous to get it, if you're in the slower car. For the longer time, for example. Uh, known, unknown. unknown oh, so the voting went to unknown, unknowns. So we're doing a random all again. This is straight lining it. I mean, I'll stick with the standard four laps. I'll just leave it as it is. Um... Because I want to try... I want to try all the tracks, really. So I'd rather do all the tracks for a shorter amount of time than do one track for like loads of laps um the the thing is right really this functionality needs to be in the creator as soon as we have this functionality in the creator it becomes a lot more interesting but as, as of right now we've got to deal with rockstar's implementation of it however for those on console who've never been on Project Homecoming or 5M or anything like that, you guys are getting a sort of random experience. Random all light. <laughs> How's the randomness? Can we shut down Project Homecoming? Yeah, you can shut it down now. No need for it. But what I was saying earlier is that like this DLC seems to be 
putting in ideas from the community, like the the drift races, the drag races were taken straight from uh, one of the 5M servers, I think. Obviously, Random All is six years old now, and Rockstar finally put in something that's like it. Um, but, you know, for the... for the, Alright, okay. So an X80, so this is a Random All, so it can be any vehicle. And I'm starting in a bike. I don't know what bike. It's a shame that we can't use our custom vehicles if we happen to own them. I'm going to get landed on. Street Blazer. All right. 50's in a formula car that's not that great in a straight line. He didn't have it for long, though. Zentorno now. Oh, what a scumbag! That transported me into a different location. So I went from a Zentorno to a Futo. Then to... <laughs> They're aping on the whole face-to-face -face thing, on the Ramp buggy. The pounder. So it's all vehicles you can get in transform races. So there is a wider selection than there is in normal races. And we're changing very quickly. Like this feels very quick to be changing cars all the time because it is checkpoint based rather than lap based. The frequency of switches seems too chaotic. Well, I think it's meant to be. <laughs> This is Rockstar creating a GTA race for the GTA population. <laughs> Not necessarily us racers. It's certainly a lot more interesting than regular transform races. I would say. Because transform races to me get really boring. Dominated ASP. We're, we're just in... We're in so many different cars all the time. Here's the PR4. But it's a straight line race, so it's not really doing much like... There's so little in terms of corners that... It's all just about getting a car that has a decent straight line speed. but can't be too bad stock anyway oh vigilante now I might be able to catch up a bit well not by much then into a pre more custom it is oh <laughs> The field master! No way, we've seen like we've seen a classic random old trope. Friggin' field master pops up. What's the slowest vehicles you can get in a transform race? Is the field master it? I don't think wait the air tug must be available, right? As well. Oh I missed the boost. Oh, the dozer is available, isn't it? Oh, I'm in a scarab. <laughs> the lurcher. I mean, yeah, this race is like 95% just full throttle with two corners. In fact, the corner at the end, if you've got a car that's got decent enough grip, that's also a full throttle. Second for life. Those boost pads do somewhat negate the slow vehicles being slow. That's true. I mean, the track is not interesting. <laughs> It was the Lectro that I started on. 
Oh, one minute DNF timer. Oh yeah, so it is. They've increased the DNF timer for these races. Maybe because of the variety of potential cars. Yeah, that's definitely trying to be more of a face-to-face -face chaos type of race. I agree. Uh, it's not me, it's me with the membership. Thank you very much for being a member. If you respawn, you do get a different vehicle. Oh, do you? You get a different vehicle if you respawn. Your music is off, but the station changes with every vehicle change and you can't change the station yourself. Oh, really? It is even randomizing radio stations? <laughs> <laughs> yeah we could try these with 30 players on a sunday stream for sure um all right i want to do this one so we've done a random all a random select another random all now and then a random select that's what we're going to do here uh yeah but really these need to be in the creator these checkpoints these transform checkpoints need to be in the creator So long in ghost mode, it's half a non-contact race. That's true. Oh, so this is a race for motorcycles. Five laps. Lock to five laps. And uh, it's interesting that they have said competitive transform race for motorcycles because that does signify that everyone gets the same cars by the end. So we're going to get across these five laps, I don't know, 10, 15 different cars. Well, different bikes. And then by the end of the race, we will all have had the same bikes, which is a random select. Yeah, I was in first, then I got the dozer. Oh, uh, I am... Um, I'm wearing my, my random t-shirt, by the way. Random all t-shirt. I, ha I had to for something like this. Store.bruffy.com if you want to get one. You can also get the Unholy Trinity on there as well. In mugs as well and all sorts. And your, your G-Fred pins and your Bruffy Love pins. Gotta take this opportunity. <laughs> yeah, it, it's obvious that they've been look looking at Project Homecoming random races. Like I was saying earlier, it's the, where they've taken ideas from 5M, like the drag races, for example, from another racing server. It's obvious that they've looked at what we do on Project Homecoming races and what I've done with my random videos, because they've got both of the main types. You need to call it an unknown unknown t-shirt now. <laughs> To drag to start, I think. The only bike that I actually like. And we're racing with randoms, so yep. <laughs> Freaking hate bike races. Oh, is this every lap? Is this going to be a different bike every lap? Like a proper random select? We haven't changed yet. Oh, there you go. You can actually do a proper random select if you want, at least in this game mode. So, for the, unfortunately, you're going to have to deal with racing bikes. Oh, <laughs> for now. That's, that's why bikes are the worst. Um, and the wheeling, the constant needing to wheelie. I mean, it's not the nicest track either with all the walls and everything. Yep, there goes him as well. <laughs> oh, what a scumbag! But for those on console who've never had the random experience, you can actually have a random select experience where every lap is a different bike, and by the end of the race, everyone's in this. Everyone's had the same bike. This is the closest to an actual random select. This looks like a track I've made and that's definitely not a good thing. <laughs> All right, so Sovereign. So I think I had the uh, the quickest bikes first, the Kucho Dragon, the Barty. 
We'll see where I end up. I'm going to get chased down. Now that I've had some... Now that I'm going to get slow bikes later on. Finally, this is going to be what... Everything comes together in the end. I can say it for a Rockstar created race. But we've said it also for a long time that Rockstar have sort of taken ideas from Project Homecoming and the modding community for vehicles as well. You know, Project Homecoming gets open wheel cars and then a few, well, a year or two later, GTA gets open wheel cars. Same with carts and same with different vehicle types in general. Now they're just doing it with game modes also. Oh, the Chimera. Three wheels. doesn't turn. Oh, we're both in them. But yeah, it's, you know, it's obvious that they've been looking at this and, and looking at what we do, and it's kind of nice that they've, they've shown some interest it's just that it's always Rockstar's implementation of it that leaves a little bit to be desired and you're never going to get the full experience, let's say, with, uh, you're not going to get the Project Homecoming experience. The rat bike. Oh, Sovereign in first place. There's opportunities. And I get the... Uh, the boosty back end for the top speed. It's not as good in the corners though. It's too slow in the corners. I'm losing pace. Can't wheelie enough. Not gonna catch up the sovereign. It's too grippy. Oops. Whoops. Down. Now I'm definitely not going to catch up the suffering. <laughs> uh, the drop down does not show what other people have. No, unfortunately. And it will depend on what you start with as well. Unlike the random races that we do where everyone starts in the same car, so the first lap is based on that. This is... It, it's going to depend on um, what you start with. If you start in a high top speed car, for example, like I did, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have a worse impact because you're not going to be able to utilize that off the line from a standing start. Those 43 second laps from the top two, I bet they came from the Hakucho drag. Whereas I was nowhere close to that because I started with it and had to get up to speed in it. I started in the rat bike, went from first to last, yeah. So that's the closest to a random select so far. Yeah, the drag, yeah, I thought so. It's just a shame it's in bikes, I suppose. Uh, I've done this one. I definitely prefer the lap-based randomness, but having it on any checkpoint definitely opens up some interesting options. Yeah, that's true. Having the randomness be able to, having you, you know, being able to change vehicle on each checkpoint does open up more options. But we've always been able to do that with transform races, I suppose. It's just that now there's that random aspect to it. All right, so we're locked to three laps. Competitive transform race featuring off-road vehicles. for this one. There's only two more left that we haven't done. One random all and one random select. The, the naming is so stupid. Known unknowns and unknown unknowns. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Robinson, for the Prime subscription, by the way. 
It's so limited with the tracks and the chosen vehicles, though, at least the known unknown ones. Yeah, I mean, we'll see what we get in this one, but with three laps, I'm guessing we're going to have some transforming halfway through the lap, maybe. Um, but yeah, what we really need is these these random transform checkpoints to be available in the creator. At the moment, as Floorball says, it's only for devs to use. And that's why we can only use Rockstar created races. But if it was possible for this functionality to be in the creator, then random races would be able to be made. Anyone would be able to take their regular circuit, put some random checkpoints down, either in a random select functionality with a set number of laps, or a random all functionality where you can just get anything. And we could actually have some proper... They've got the... This is always the same thing with Rockstar. They've got the functionality to make something and do something. But we're locked behind random uh, Rockstar's own implementation of it. So, like... If, if these checkpoints were available in the creator, everybody on console would be able to have the same experience as what we have in a random all race. Oh, the June's available! My journey's not going to do well on this first lap. I'm going to get absolutely destroyed by all these randoms in this race. I'm just going to stay out of the way, I think. Yep, yep, yep. That was always going to happen. At least this is happening in the slowest car for it. <laughs> I'll be working my way back through the pack as the race goes on. Oh, they've got... Okay, they've got random bits of cars in the middle of the road as well to dodge. <laughs> yeah, it's an open lobby. I think this is the only 15 people who are actually doing this race at all. We're, we're the only lobby doing these races. Alright, Vito Modern. This isn't an off-road vehicle. I can go underneath in the Vito Modern. That's a nice touch. <laughs> so this is changing car every half a lap, I think. We have done this before, though. We've done dual tracks where we changed a car every half a lap in the random races. Vagrant. Oh, it's the same thing on... The, okay, so this, this track is... I saw it on the right-hand side there. There's a place for the... Um, uh, there's a place for the Vitor to get underneath. Can I get underneath in this? Oh, I can as well. Some cars you can get underneath, some you can't. I think this might be one of the better ones so far. All right, June time. The majestic June. Idiot. <laughs> What's next? Ah, oh, yeah, Marshall. Finally can't go underneath. Ten too early. Alright, last lap, isn't it? Oh no, this was the end. Second for life. From last to second. <laughs> That was the best one so far, I think. Notwithstanding all the, you know, randoms, let's say. <laughs> we 
that one was nowhere near as crazy in terms of the car changes and with it changing every half a lap and the whole lap being a mirror of itself it was quite even in terms of like the uh yeah the you know you, if you if you got a car at one it didn't matter when you got the vehicle it was going to even out by the end apart from the very start More of a meme character with the ramp buggy and the obstacles. Yeah, we haven't had a proper racetrack version of this, have we? Apart from, I would say the bike one was the most proper race version. All right, there's two that we haven't done yet. One of each type left. Hopefully we get the votes on it. If not, I'll just leave and go do it again. Uh, oh, it's not even giving us them. It's transform. Oh, all right. Out we go. What do I think of these? I think I am pleasantly surprised, but also realizing that, you know, this is still Rockstar's implementation of it. It's not fantastic <laughs> because, but Rockstar are making tracks that cater to the wider GTA community. Uh, all right, so. Let's save the final random all for last. The naming is so dumb. I should have gone the other way. Known unknowns. Heyday, heyday is the only one we haven't done. Great idea, not so great execution. Is basically the mantra of Rockstar, I suppose. <laughs> Oh, someone else is hosting. That's fine. Uh, what's this? Tear up the boonies in this competitive transform race featuring off-road vehicles again. Are we actually... Oh, we are. There is a one little strand of off-road section, I think, there. So three laps. We'll probably change cars half a lap, maybe. Competitive, yeah. The the competitive um, when they put competitive in the description of all these random select races, it is somewhat well. Let's say they're not as competitive as they could be. <laughs> like in my opinion, the kind of races that we do on the properly made tracks and trying to balance it so that it's good for racing at the the sort of the highest level. I think that also works for randoms, you know. I think randoms would have just as much fun with those kind of things. So I don't necessarily agree with the idea of creating races specifically for the general GTA community, like creating them for the um the 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 you know, the, the racing community would probably still work, I think. You'd be surprised how many would find those very boring. I don't know. I mean, I don't know because we've also got some crazy races that are well made, like some of the crossover races and all this kind of stuff. A lot of casuals really love press R2 races, but why? <laughs> They're so boring. <laughs> The lack of variety makes them go stale pretty quick. That's what I think. Like That's why these mods always get sort of forgotten about immediately. All right, so starting on the bike, but Ketchup and Slipstream are on because it's not me hosting it this time. Sanchez, right?
The wheelie should help me get away from the catch-up. Is it going to be every... Oh, no, it is every half a lap. Weevil Custom. I mean, this is in the muscle class, Rockstar. Just like the Vito cart wasn't in the off-road class. <laughs> it's a shame. It's a shame that we don't can't use our custom cars, but also I understand it as well. Like it makes it more even and level the playing field if you can only use stock vehicles. But I'm always of the opinion that you should be able to customize your cars um, visually, but the performance shouldn't change personally. I don't see any need for engine, transmission, turbo, stuff like that. Rusty Rebel. I mean, catch-up is on and it's classic catch-up as well, so I'm getting really badly affected in first place. This is more like a proper race as well. This is this is the proper race for cars with one bike, I guess. And the bike race was the proper race for bikes in terms of having an com actual competitive random select style race. Yeah, Bruffy World Record Holder. Everyone gets that when you're the first person to do the, the friggin' laps <laughs> before it updates. Outlaw, this is not very quick. Yeah, I'm definitely getting caught up. Catch up is doing me in. This bike. Give me that slip. No, oh, I was trying to keep in the slipstream, man. Bollocks. <laughs> Double bonk. Yeah. See what the last lap brings. The Jukes. Again, not an off-road vehicle. But we don't have catch-up, and we can try to... Me and Belligerent can maybe try to... Shake and bake slipstream together to catch up to the leader. I think there's only the two of us from the crew, me and Belligerent, in this race. The rest are all randoms. Maybe he's got a slow car, this leader, on the last lap. Brophy versus catch up. That's what this race has been. <laughs> me against the catch up mechanic. see what that is. Dune buggy for me. Oh, is he in the jukes now? He's going to be really slow with catch-up, though. I don't think I'm going to get there by the end. Maybe. Dune buggy's not very quick, and I'm getting affected by catch-up at least a little bit as well. That crash is what cost me in this one on this final corner on the last lap no doubt about it oh he's crashed give me the slip give me the slip come on give me the slip juked him yes <laughs> beautiful Um, that was the, that, that would be the one that I would recommend people to do. 
if you want something that's closest to what we experience with random select races. I mean, you only get five laps of uh, three laps of it, five minutes. You can't exactly make it longer or anything like that. We can't. You can't do a 25-minute random race like we do. But that would be my uh, recommendation for people to do to have this have the, the somewhat of a random experience. <laughs> Bamboozled. <laughs> yeah. That's the best one so far, I think. In terms of proper race experience with random select and everybody gets the same cars by the end. But yeah, it is a watered down experience, but it's also, you know, Rockstar I do have to create things thinking about the general community, I guess. So I, you know, I, I, I have lessened on my, um, oh, which one? Haven't we done again? Uh, skyscraping, isn't it? No? Is it skyscraping? We've done gassed up. Or have we already done skyscraping? That was the face-to-face -face one, wasn't it? I'll look at the map. Skyscraping was the big straights with hairpins. Okay. We'll do the last, we'll, I'll back out and we'll do the last one. Um, but the thing that, that so I'm, um, my, my criticism of Rockstar creating these races in the way that they do has definitely lessened over the years, but my annoyance that they don't put it in the creator is what remains. Like, yeah, I remember. Okay, let's back out. Like, you could have full-fledged random races if these checkpoints were made available in the creator. Like, you could have... You you guys on console could have the exact same experience that we have on Project Homecoming. To a almost full extent. Like, they don't... They don't give enough to the, the creator's... To create their own stuff and yeah sometimes they do release th sometimes like they tend to release things um sort of their own versions and then six months down the line or something they release it in the creator or whatever so time will tell whether it gets released i just i kind of wish they just made it available immediately because you get you know you lose all the hype for it in that situation And if they release it in six months' time, or the Christmas DLC or whatever, I mean, there's only going to be a couple few months left of GTA Online anyway before GTA 6. But maybe this functionality will be in... Uh... All right, we'll do four laps for this final one. Maybe this functionality will be in um, GTA 6, you never know. GTA 6 is creator from the start. You just know that it'll be capped by the transform model memory. Very limited experience. Maybe the same 10 cars with half decent track, which the creator has to rotate weekly. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You, you're going to have to, you know, even if they put it in the creator, you still have to make a track specifically for this. But you can just take your track, turn it into a track that has the transform checkpoints, and then just keep changing that. And for a random all, you only need to make one version of it because the, the, the checkpoint will just be the unknown unknown checkpoint so it will choose from anything but yeah i imagine for the the full the full random all experience checkpoint it will just be from every vehicle that's available in transform races and that is a big list in comparison to even regular vehicles you know there's stuff like the field master that we saw i think there yeah, the the dozer and uh you know the lawnmower the Unholy Trinity, the Rusty Tractor isn't available, so you couldn't get an Unholy Trinity, but you could do two out of three. I think you can still limit the list. Yeah, you'd pro yeah, no doubt you'll be able to limit it as from the creator side of things, but and that's how you would probably make those random select races. But 
you know, it just needs to be put in the create. It's the same with the um, open wheel races when they had all that functionality with pit stops and tire life and stuff like that, but they limited it only to open wheel cars instead of having that functionality be available on regular cars. And we could have, you know, we, we, we did, uh, we did those races with um, tire wear and pit stops with a regular car and it was great. Oh, starting in the GP700 again. This one started the first race in. Is there a police car? Unmarked cruiser over there? Turismo's off. There's a bike. What on earth is this track? Oh, the stretch. That's the slowest at the moment. Lost slam van. Landing on top of the rat truck! <laughs> yeah, I got some good top speed in the lost slam van. Dominated ASP. Where are we going? Oh, can't see a damn thing. Is that the APC? Yeah, thank God for the ghosting there indeed. Very wide checkpoints. Oh, there's a plane. Is this going to be a random plane? Yep. Tula. So I think... Uh, I mean, when you look at all the vehicles that we get in these random races, you know, it... It does seem like a huge variety. You know, you guys in the chat talking about model memory on the creator and stuff, but... I mean, we're seeing... <laughs> GT driver in the Raiju, was that? We're seeing a huge wide variety of vehicles. And we got crossover... Crashy section. Seems like you'd totally be able to do proper random alls. Police cruiser. S key. This is the most interesting of the three random all modes, I would say. There's more vehicles, more land vehicles. That's a crash plane. Like, okay, you've got to deal with planes on a one section, but and you are changing cars a little bit too quickly still. So I would say the last two that we've done, the ultra light, the last two that we've done have been the two best. The worst one was the straight line random all race. And I can't remember what the first random select was, the military one, that was all right, but It's, you know, but the thing is, again, it's only seven tracks. They'll probably be relatively quickly forgotten about, although the randomness probably adds to a little bit of interest. And there's a bit more replayability. But really, we need this sort of stuff in the creator for it to have any longevity. You're changing cars about the same time as it takes to watch a TikTok video, so that seems about right for the T Gen Z, Gen Z attention span. Yeah. Um. Wait, was someone in the dozer? I didn't see, I missed it. Turismo R. Oh, dumb was it? Okay. Pounder custom. I had the regular pounder earlier. Someone had the dump, was it? Okay. Did I go from a pounder custom to a pounder custom again? 
I don't like the fact that we can get duplicates. Oh, the Hydra. One of the quickest rear line planes. Rustin. I mean, it's fun. There's a fun aspect to this. I'm glad that they've added this. They've done it in Rockstar's own way, but, you know, I'm I'm glad that those who've never been on Project Homecoming or 5M or anything can have a bit of a random race experience, at least a little taste of what I do with my videos. Well, Vigilante again. I had this earlier as well. One of the earlier races. I mean, Ruin a 2000. I don't think I've seen any car that isn't already available in Transform races. I'm pretty sure it's still that selection. You've just been spoiled by our randoms. That's true. Project Homecoming random races are just on another level and always have been. The Project Homecoming random races are so good that Rockstar felt like they needed to copy them <laughs> with these. That's going to be close to the line. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't actually for position. The surfer. We just need these to be available in the creator to make our own random races. Even a shitty copy of something amazing can still be good. <laughs> they thought about you, bro, if I got a photo with the drift setup. Oh, did you really? Well, that's a separate model, isn't it? So I guess those are... Yeah, because the drift... I'm pretty sure there's a drift category in Transform Races as well. So that was the best one. Um, because there was less planes than the first one and there was more to the track than the second one. still kind of <laughs> yeah. and the plane part was a little bit interesting that's true yeah the drift category is an option when making a transform race yeah I thought so so they're separate models entirely so yeah it's just every single vehicle that's available in a transform race I think that you can get although there's some limitations based on some of the Checkpoints are only for planes, some are only for boats. But that was the best random all, and the grape seed track was the best random select. Those would be my primary recommendations for people to give it a go. But I'm I'm genuinely I'm surprised, like I didn't think that this was gonna be a thing. Like I didn't know. We we hadn't looked at this in, in beforehand and seen that this was going to be a thing. Like it, It's been quite a surprise and a shock when they announced it yesterday that this was coming. And hey, they, you know, they've added random-esque races to, uh, to, to GTA Online, which is kind of cool. It's a nice nod to Project Homecoming. I wish that they would you know when they when I was saying earlier about how they have definitely taken inspiration from vehicles from modding community, Project Homecoming, and now they're doing it with game modes as well. I kind of wish they would just put in the modded vehicles and give credit to the creator and and talk to the 
uh, the, say the Project Homecoming devs and put in a proper random mode instead of something, instead of like Rockstar's version of it and not really, you know, take take the name of it as well or something rather than just, you know, doing their own version and trying to get around the fact that, hey, everybody knows you copied it from the other people, but they're trying to make it so that it's not direct copy. Um, like... I kind of wish that they would be more open like that and also just generally be more open with the creator especially allowing more vehicles to be used in regular races allowing races to um you know that that checkpoint functionality to be in races in the same time as it's been released being more open on the limitations of it stuff like that that's what i i wish that those are the things that i wish they would do but it is nice that they've, you know, given a nod to the random races that we do on this channel and Project Homecoming, and there's a, at least somewhat of a, a a possibility to do it in on console now on regular GTA Online. You can you can have a random light experience, <laughs> uh, but that's about it. I think I think that's where we'll probably finish it. All I wanted to do was come, I mean, it's meant to be my sort of day off where I don't do anything today, but I couldn't not give these a go and try them out. And we had some fun races. Um, <laughs> got 10 high priced lawyers. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, bonus stream um, showcasing the, the new random orbs that are now in gt online give them a try i'm sure you'll enjoy them for a little bit and then they'll probably fall off again until they get added to the creator and then then we could have random orbs on random all tracks because the tracks come from gt online so you can take those random all tracks on gt online put it with the random checkpoints functionality and you guys on console can actually have a random all experience on the same tracks not with the same car selections but you know rockstar's car selections so that's what we need next but hey props to rockstar for actually putting something like that in it's nice to be seen <laughs> for once uh and yes store.profi.com get your random all merch <laughs> all right thank you guys very much um thank you to the the new well the new and uh, existing members. <laughs> um, and yeah, hopefully it was a somewhat enjoyable stream to watch. Um, but yeah, that'll do us for today. Thank you guys for, for coming to the stream. And sweet unknown unknown match. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll, I'm, there's no stream on Saturday like there would normally be. So I'll be back on Sunday, both on Twitch and YouTube for actual random all will be on project homecoming on sunday so we will be we'll be doing some actual random races <laughs> all right thank you guys very much i'll see you all um uh see you all on sunday bye bye